Hello guys, it's me, Martin again, and welcome in third part of Photoshop Explained. In this part, in this lesson, we're going to talk about menu bar. Menu bar is all about saving files in different formats, in opening files, as well about choosing panels, which we were talking before in the previous lesson. If you missed this lesson, check my previous lesson about preferences and Photoshop workspace. So let's start to talk about menus. As I said before, menu bar is all about saving files, opening files, choosing options, choosing panels and everything like that. So let's fa familiarize ourselves with this menu bar. So in the future we could feel really comfortable with every option in Photoshop. Actually the best advice for everyone who start with Photoshop is to choose check actually all the menu bar to choose different options and to experiment with them don't be afraid you do something wrong because that's how we learn photoshop by doing every kind of mistakes but doing stupid things in photoshop that's how we learn i'm going to talk about few most important things how it's going to look like but on your own remember to explore menu bar remember to explore all the tools remember to play with them whatever you want and after a while even if right now you feel you're doing everything without conscious you will see that after a few times of doing weird things you're going to understand every option in Photoshop by clicking file we have few basic options and it's all about opening new project in Photoshop opening new file like image by opening by normal way or browsing in bridge as well you have options like save as and by clicking this you choose the way how you want to save your file of course you can import files if you edit in videos for example but mostly using Photoshop we're not working with videos so I'm going to talk about this in the future by clicking edit we have few useful options like preferences which we were talking in the previous lesson but way more important is fill if you want to fill our layer with some kind of color or if you want to create a pattern if we want to create a new brush we are going to do this in this edit panel after edit there's image and actually most of the things you're probably doing by using image we have different modes we have all the adjustments which we can use by clicking this adjustments over here or choosing adjustment over here when we use essentials panel we have all the adjustments here but of course if you don't feel too comfortable at the beginning with Photoshop you can click image adjustments and choose all of the adjustments you want of course you have few more like shadow highlights if you want to work with shadows and highlights we have few options auto which I actually cannot recommend because of course auto settings are not always really good so when we work with Photoshop we prefer to do everything on our own you have image size etc after image there is layer options and we have everything here as you can see we can duplicate our layer we can duplicate our layer as well by clicking right on our layer and duplicate our layer which would be much more easier and in the future everything you will do like this or using shortcuts but right now you can familiarize with all the options that layer has to offer you can rename layer you can choose layer style you can fill the layer with some color you can set adjustments for the layer about adjustments i was talking a little bit before about type we're actually not using this and the next more important thing would be select you have all select options here you can select all layers you can deselect layers you can set you can set color range actually which is very useful tool if we want to separate our model for example from the background you have all filter gallery in filters by choosing filter gallery you can set different filters as well as have 3d blur blur all blur gallery and different kind of filters as well as we are using some kind of plugins all the plugins more likely will be in our filters 
3D objects, of course, when we work with 3D objects, is going to be separate lessons about this, about view. It's all about how to set the view of our Photoshop. We can zoom in, we can zoom out, but of course we can use shortcuts to do this and it will be much better in the future and probably no one is using view options to set uh, the size of your picture, for example, to zoom in or zoom out. About the windows, you have all the panels here. You can set the panels and choose the panels, um, how it has to look like. So as I said, familiarize yourself with Photoshop, with menu bar, check all the tools it has to offer, check all the options it has to offer and after a few times you will feel much more comfortable with menu bar. I know there is many things at the beginning that you might get a bit confusing but after you spend some time with Photoshop you feel there is not really many things to know about this and you will feel very comfortable by choosing every option in Photoshop. Thank you and see you soon in another lesson.